We are going to investigate some uh, useful results from the canonical distribution when the approximation of classical mechanics is applicable. And uh, for this uh, goal, we, will, we have to answer under which conditions we can talk about the classical approximation. So the validity of the classical approximation uh, requires two criteria. Uh, the first one is uh, has to do with the thermal energy. So the classical approximation uh, or the realm in which we can use uh, classical mechanics is basically not valid if we have a very low temperature. Basically when the thermal energy of the system is comparable to or less than delta E, that is the spacing uh, between energy levels. So in the quantum sense, the energy levels are quantized. Uh, so we have uh, spacing between energy levels, um, delta E. And if the thermal energy is comparable to this or less than this, then we, we don't have the classical approximation uh, because the discreteness of the energy levels becomes important. Uh, what happens is that the, the term uh, Boltzmann factor e to the minus beta e and e to the minus beta e plus delta e, beta remember is 1 over kT, uh, are going to be very different, therefore uh, we cannot treat this uh, energy as a continuous variable anymore. Uh, the second important criterion uh, has to do with the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle in quantum mechanics. So let's remember what this principle uh, was. In quantum mechanics, we have a limitation on the uh, preciseness of uh, measurements of momentum and position at the same time. So that's referred to as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. And this principle basically states that if you try to measure uh, position and momentum simultaneously, a simultaneous measurement of the position x and its corresponding momentum cannot be done with infinite precision. And this is due to the wave nature of uh, matter. So delta x, the uncertainty in the position and uncertainty in the corresponding momentum product should be greater than or comparable to h bar. So that's Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So this limitation will become unimportant if you have this product uncertainty uh, delta x times delta px is much, much greater than h bar. So that's when we have delta x much much greater than h bar over delta px or we can say that delta x is much much greater than reduced de Broglie wavelength which is um, h bar divided by the momentum uh, p. So basically 
uh, what we need to check is the minimum significant classical uh, dimension. So if the minimum significant classical dimension delta x is large or much larger than compared to the de Broglie wavelength of the particle quantum mechanical effects uh, are going to be are negligible okay so we talked about two criteria one the thermal energy uh, kt should not be comparable to or less than the spacing between energy levels and two the minimum separation minimum significant classical dimension for example the distance between molecules in a gas should be much greater than the de Broglie wavelength so I can summarize this as follows two criteria one the thermal energy kt should be much greater than delta e the separation between energy levels and two the minimum significant uh, classical dimension delta x should be much greater than the de Broglie wavelength uh, h bar divided by the momentum so this basically uh, these two criteria uh, will be applied to our systems in order to decide if we can do uh, the treatment using the classical approximation or uh, we have to work in the uh, quantum regime um, and this basically uh, has to do with uh, the quantum mechanical limitation Heisenberg's uncertainty principle so the preciseness of the momentum and uh, corresponding uh, position cannot be infinite so the, you cannot measure them simultaneously with infinite precision the the precision the product of the uncertainties is limited by h bar and this h bar remember is Planck's constant h divided by uh, 2 pi um, so that's basically going to tell us the second criterion the first criterion the thermal energy uh, kt has to do with uh, the values of the uh, canonical distribution uh, Boltzmann factor e to the minus beta e and e to the minus beta e plus delta e uh, should not be very different from each other and that's going to be the case when the thermal energy is much greater than the separation between energy levels so that energy can be treated as a continuous variable.